Hey y'all, welcome to Homestead Budgets. My name is Heather and today I'm going to be doing my cash stuffing for the last week of February. I'm going to be stuffing a total of $550 today. If this is your first time here, I just wanted to say welcome. I am a fully self-employed homesteader here in Virginia and I take y'all through my cash stuffing journey. Um, this is income that I get from uh, two or three of my um, small businesses that I have that are local to the area. So that's the income that you see here. Right now, um, the priority for my husband and myself is funding our IVF journey, which um, is going to be kind of going full steam ahead here in the next couple of months. So y'all are just seeing how um, I kind of budget my way through that using cash envelopes and the zero-based budgeting method. And if it's not your first time here, I'm so glad that you're back. If you haven't already, I would love if y'all would subscribe so that way you can see what we have going on, especially in the next couple of months. And we are on the road to our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, so I'm really, really excited about that. I've already got some things. Um, so we're just waiting to kind of hit that new milestone. Um, and then I'll be able to bless y'all with a little giveaway. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get this cash all set up. So we've got one 200, 5350, so 370, 90, 410, 430, 420, 30, 40, 50, 60. So this is 465, 75, 85, 95. That's 500, 5, 10, 15, 20. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I feel like I either just counted this wrong or I'm missing some money. So let's two hundred fifty three fifty three seventy three eighty three ninety. Right? No, that's not right. Three seventy. 390, 410, 430, that's where I messed up, 440, 50, 60, 70, 80, so this is 485, 95, 500, 510, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, okay, that's right, and then I know that this is 10 ones, so that's 550. My goodness. All right. We're off to a wonderful start here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start off in my everyday binder. Actually, I'm totally thrown off by miscounting all of that. I need to get my wallet so that way I can go ahead and do my coins. Okay. All right, I think that might be it. It was just a couple. Okay, so 11.20 in there now. I also have my receipts that I'm gonna go ahead and scan into both Fetch and Receipt Hog. Um, they're both cashback apps for uh, receipts from stores that you purchase things from either way. Um, you don't have to buy like specific things or anything like that. With Fetch, you end up getting gift cards. With Receipt Hog, you actually can just end up getting cash. I cash it out to my PayPal. Um, I'll put the information for both of those up here. Um, I do have referral codes with these. Um, so if you decide to use them, you will get a bonus when you scan in your first receipt, but I will get a bonus as well for referring you to whichever app that it is. So I just like to let y'all know that. Um, but it's really nice to be able to kind of just get something extra, like I said, for things that you're purchasing anyway. Um, so now we're going to jump into my everyday binder. So groceries this week is going to get $30. And I realized while I was counting, look at this 10. Someone like took a little, I mean, it's probably not a bite, but it looks like just they like took like a little bite out of there. Um, dining out is going to be getting $10 this week. So it has 10, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 30. 
and I've just got a little clip on there um, just because I have like some lower bills and everything in there. Spending is going to be getting $50 and that's all that it has. Pets is also getting $50 and that's all that it has. <clears throat> and then self-care is going to be getting $5. So it has $5.10. Um, and I wanted to say <clears throat> earlier that um, the day that I'm filming this, which is Monday, is when y'all are actually going to get the unstuffing for last week. Um, and I just kind of wanted to say, like, sorry about that. <laughs> um, it took so long for me to, like, kind of sit down and be able to, like, get it edited and everything. Um, and then to get it uploaded and all that. It's just been a crazy weekend. I'm coming up on... My first farmer's market for some of the sourdough that I do. Um, and this weekend just kind of um, took a bit more out of me than I expected. So um, just that video is out and I definitely wanted to get it out because it includes a bill condensing. Um, but it just took a lot longer than normal. Um, so moving on to my sinking funds. Um, I am still skipping date night for now. Baby fund is going to be getting $5.00. So it has twenty forty five <clears throat> health. So this is for my health insurance premium. It's getting a hundred dollars. So it has five six seven eight fifty um, and seven hundred dollars of which is in my high yield savings account. Um, and I do like to let y'all know. My high yield savings account is through Ally Bank, um, and right now they're doing their referral program. They don't always have this, um, so I like to let y'all know when they do have it, where when you sign up, you're eligible for a $100 bonus by opening a new high yield savings account, as well as you will get a link to share with, I think it's like two other people, it might be three other people, to where if they decide to open up a new account, you know, they're eligible for that $100 too, but then you get a $50 bonus. Um, so I like to always let y'all know about that because it's a really nice way to be able to kind of um, take advantage of an extra offer for extra bonus money from a bank. Plus the um, savings account with Ally has a really good interest rate right now, um, as well as for us cash budgeters, it has like different buckets that you can put different funds into that's all within the same account. So it's kind of like having envelopes for an online account. It's really nice. So check that out. I will put the link for that down below. Just know that you have to use that link in order to be eligible for all the bonuses and everything. Medical is going to get $20.00. Uh, clothing is still getting skipped for now. Vacation is going to get $25. So 20 and 5. So it has 50, 70, 90, 5, and 100. Um, subscriptions and annual bills are going to be skipped for this week. And then miscellaneous is going to get $2. So it has one, two, three, and four. And then we are all set here. We're gonna move on to my holiday savings challenges. And we're just gonna do a couple in here since this is a little bit of a smaller stuffing than normal. Uh, Easter is going to get $3. So one, two, and three. So Easter now has 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. All right, and then we're going to color in one of our eggs because each one of these eggs um, has been allotted to $3. And then we are going to skip back to Black Friday. And that is going to get $10 this week. So it has 100 in my high yield savings account, 20, 30. 
So that's one of those instances where I like to keep, I like to transfer that money over into my high yield savings account whenever I can. Um, because, you know, we're in February right now and Black Friday obviously isn't until the end of November. So it might as well sit there in my account for, you know, uh, what, nine months and earn some interest. So, um, each one of these is $20. So I just colored in half of one of these jars. And then for Christmas, it's going to get fifteen dollars. Ten, fifteen. So we've got one hundred in my high yield savings account. Fifty, seventy, eighty, ninety-five. So one ninety-five in Christmas. I'm having a hard time with some of these placeholders today. So again, we're going to color in half of one of these trees. Um, I just wasn't able to do a full one this week. So goes the, um, that's kind of one of the things with being self-employed is that your income is really variable sometimes. Um, so sometimes I have bigger stuffings and then other weeks like today, um, it's just a little bit smaller. So things just get spread out a little bit more. Um, moving on to my homestead binder. Bulk shopping is going to get $10, and I'm going to do that in fives. So it has 20, 45, 50. Household is going to get five, and that's going to be in ones. I just wanted to put a little bit of change in here. One, two, three, four, and five. So household has 25. I'm not going to count those all over again. All right, home maintenance is also getting five dollars, so it has twenty five thirty. Feed is going to get five dollars, and that's all that it has. Um, I did have to dip into this because we were finally able to order our egg laying chickens. I've been telling y'all about that, that's what I used. Um, this chicken fund savings challenge for um so we had to just get them some special like uh chick starter i will put up i took a little video of them but i don't know if i can put a video over top of this one but if not i'll put like a little picture they're just so tiny and fuzzy and adorable and uh, oh my gosh i love when chickens are so little um and then electric is gonna get 20. And that is empty because we just paid um, that bill over the weekend. Um, garden is getting, well, actually the rest of it's getting skipped. So I'm not going to flip through all of that. Next, we are getting into my business binder. So this just houses a couple of things that um, I use for either one or multiple of my businesses. Um, to kind of help me budget my way through that. Car maintenance is going to get $5. Um, I do a lot of driving, so that's something I'm able to kind of make a business expense. So now car maintenance has $50.65. Which apparently my husband, um, he like washed my car over the weekend. And he was like, your brakes are terrible. So we're going to have to get those changed, um, which means I might need to buff that up a bit. Gas is going to get 50. Actually, I know I'm going to have to buff that up a bit. It's not, it's going to be way more than $60. <laughs> uh, growth is going to get $5. And then um, a cell phone will also be getting $5. So it has 50.65. All right, and we are all set there. We are quickly going to do um, the only thing that I'm doing for my debt right now, just because we are so focused on um, saving up money for our IVF that's coming up. Um, and then once we kind of get over that, I'm going to be um, going back, you know, uh, what am I trying to say? Like, I'm going to be focusing more on paying off my debt again. Um, but I am still completing this $1,000 savings challenge um, that I will still be using towards debt. So we're going to stuff 15 in here today. 
So 10, 15. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 50, 70, 90, 8, 10, 8, 30, 8, 40, 8, 50, 5, 61, and 2. So 8, 62. So we are very, very close to that being finished. We'll go ahead and update this. So just a couple more weeks and hopefully I will have some higher income weeks so I can um, try to do two of those at a time. But if not, that's totally okay. And then last but not very least is going to be my fertility savings envelope, which is really the only savings thing that I am doing at the moment. And it's going to get $100. So I'm going to put my lucky $2 bill to the side. So I've got one $2,000. Uh, 500 600 in my high yield savings account so this is um, a total of two thousand seven hundred dollars um, that I have towards that all right and that is gonna be it for this week if you hung around to the end I just wanted to say thank you so much I always appreciate it um, and I hope that y'all have a great week. I will have an unstuffing later this week. It'll probably be one of my, um, shorter videos, um, but stick around for that. And I hope that y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye y'all.